Good afternoon. I'm Assistant Sheriff Yatomi with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. I'm here today to brief you on additional details as we know them about an officer-involved shooting which occurred on Friday, November 29th, 2024. This is the 14th officer-involved shooting for 2024, the sixth non-fatal shooting this year. At the same time in 2023, we had eight officer-involved shootings, three of which were fatal and five were non-fatal. This event was generated as an investigated follow-up on November 29, 2024 at 9.57 p.m. in a residential area located in the 600 block of North Christie Lane. The officer-involved shooting occurred in the 1800 block of North Las Vegas Boulevard. You can see the scene to my left. The involved officer in this incident is Marcos Gomez. He is 33 years old and has been with the LVMPD since 2021. Officer Gomez was armed with a Glock 45 9mm handgun equipped with a tactical light and optic. This investigation revealed he fired four rounds. Officer Gomez is assigned to the Tourist Safety Division Downtown Area Command. The suspect is identified as Jaime Mendoza. He is a 54-year-old white male adult. He is 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighs 145 pounds. Mendoza was armed with a Taurus Rossi RP63 357 Magnum revolver. You can see a picture of his weapon to my left. The investigation revealed he fired one round. Mendoza's vehicle in this incident was a 2015 Toyota RAV4 registered in his name. Mendoza was arrested for the following charges. One count of attempt murder on a first responder. One count of resisting a public officer with a firearm. One count of kidnapping first degree with deadly weapon. One count of sexual assault with a deadly weapon. One count of aggravated stalking with a deadly weapon. One count of auto burglary. And one count of felony evading. The details of the officer involved shooting are as follows. On November 29, 2024, the LVMPD detectives requested a patrol response to the 600 block of North Christie Lane regarding a kidnapping and sexual assault with the use of a firearm. Details of the call indicated that Jaime Mendoza was a suspect of the crime and was known to drive a red Toyota RAV4. As patrol officers arrived, a vehicle matching the description pulled into the neighborhood. Officers followed the vehicle and attempted to stop the car, but it took off at a high rate of speed. Given the details of the felony crime, officers initiated a vehicle pursuit, but lost sight of the vehicle near Owens Avenue and Marion Drive. Details of the pursuit and suspect vehicle were broadcast to the neighboring area commands. Officer Gomez and his partner observed a vehicle matching the description near Tonopah Avenue and Bruce Street. Officers followed the vehicle to the 1800 block of North Las Vegas Boulevard where it collided into a tree and a parked vehicle at the entry of the business parking lot. As officers approached, Mendoza fled from the vehicle and ran northbound through the business parking lot. Officer Gomez and his partner initiated a foot pursuit. Officer Gomez encountered Mendoza as he ran through the parking lot onto a nearby sidewalk. Mendoza then fired one round at Officer Gomez. Officer Gomez discharged his duty weapon at Mendoza, striking him in the left hip. We will now play Officer Gomez's body-worn camera. <laughs> Silver Knight Casino. Go ahead. Silver Shooter North Bar. Look at the casino. What's on the parking lot? Jerry Duggan. Well, uh, black and gold sweater. Blue jeans. Black shoes. Stop! Please! Stop! Get on the ground! 
Now, at this point, the officer's body-worn camera freezes and malfunctions. It is unknown why, and we are looking into that malfunction. Now we will play body-worn camera from Officer Gomez's partner, which captured a portion of the officer-involved shooting. Now we will play third party video of the foot pursuit, capturing Mendoza shooting at Officer Gomez. Now, as you can see to the left of the screen, that flash of light is operated by our Officer Gomez. It'll quickly pan out. You'll see a shaded area here to the right of the screen, and shortly here you'll see a muzzle flash. And that is the flash from Mendoza firing at Officer Gomez. Now Mendoza continues, continues to flee from officers and it shows his path. And here you'll see a still photo of that muzzle flash from the suspect. Now, arriving units quickly set up a perimeter in an attempt to contain and locate Mendoza, but were unsuccessful. On December 1st, 2024, after relentless follow-up, Mendoza was located in the 600 block of Lynn Lane and peacefully surrendered. Mendoza was immediately provided medical attention after learning he suffered a gunshot wound during the officer-involved shooting. He was later transported to UMC where he was released and subsequently transported to the Clark County Detention Center. Now this concludes this briefing. I will now take questions. There's a um, line shot that's heard before the body-worn camera footage cuts off. Is that Mendoza still at the scene? Uh, yes, we believe that is Mendoza shooting at our officers. And thankfully they are okay and not injured. Yes. That's a great question. I don't have the details or specific details about the previous investigation which led our officers to this incident, but you can get that information from our public information office. They will provide you with that event number. Yes. Can you speak a little bit about the danger of this man being out there after what he was accused of over at Churchill and Bonanza, him still being on the loose? How dangerous is this for your officers and for the community? Oh, it's a, obviously it's very dangerous for our officers and the community, and that is why we spent so much time with that relentless follow-up. Um, we had 24-7 coverage to find the suspect, and ultimately we were successful, and he did thankfully peacefully surrender. Okay, thank you very much.